outside. <laughs> it's such a nice day out. Um, the breeze is bringing a nice, making it nice and cool. Well, not cool, but yeah. nice. Nice Comfortable. and cool. Comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable. All right. Okay, we have a few, well, first of all, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Yay. <laughs> We have a couple of new people to welcome. Bailey Winans. Welcome to the neighborhood. Walker Kinsler. Welcome to the neighborhood. Neil Haynes. Welcome to the neighborhood. Sorry, my hair is all over the place. Neil wants to know where Megan's been. When Megan's in school, it's very hard to tie her down to get her on camera. She was going to school four days a week, 12 hours a day. She's done with classes this semester, and she is away this weekend. She'll be home tomorrow, but now it's her playtime because she's leaving in August or September to go away to college. But we're going to try and get her tied down as much as we possibly can and we're going to try and get her to film while she's away at college and send us footage as much as she possibly can. Melanie Ward, welcome back girl. Glad you're watching again and glad you're making comments. We sure as heck missed you. Okay, my question yesterday is what is the worst movie that you had to sit through with a friend or family member? Okay, Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80. The worst movie she had to sit through with friends, very awkward, The Exorcist. Yeah, there would be certain points of that movie that would be very, very awkward to sit through yeah. with uh, certain friends and family members. Yeah. Bambi S, the movie Epic. <laughs> Yikes, worst movie ever. My daughter made me watch it with her. In the end, she was like, yeah, bad movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to agree with you on that one, too. Terry Johnson and Christy Shiver both said Blair Witch. Yes, that movie, it was an, a decent movie. But all the camera work and the jittering of the camera and all that stuff mm -mm, made like, me nauseous. It's like watching a vlog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Uh, Proudest Mama 77. Uh, the movie 43 or the movie Epic. Yeah. I don't remember the movie 43 much, but Epic. Missy Harris. My husband is a Japanese animation fan, fan, and there is a movie called Fist of the North Star. Awful movie. But he was so excited to see it that I couldn't bring myself to show him I was miserable. Yeah. So, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Dougie Style. And um, Terry, I'm sorry, I have to agree with Dougie on this one. Probably the worst movie I ever saw in a theater was Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Christopher Reeve did the best he could, but he was let down by a ridiculous story and dime store effects. Good thing I saw it alone. If I had a date with me, she probably would never have spoken to me again. Maria Cisnero Toth. Okay. She, she picked two movies. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. I never even heard of that one. I unfortunately have. Never even heard yeah. of it. So it's one of those movies that uh, they... I think he had a worse budget than we do during our vlogs. <laughs> it was really bad. And the second Twilight movie. Okay. I have to admit, 
despite the whole twinkling, twi twinkling vampires, I liked the whole Twilight series. Crimson Fairy, the master of disguise with Dana Carvey. Anything with Dana Carvey, I would put on that list. Okay, so that's everybody's answers, um, except The Abyss, any Spongebob movie. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with you on that one. What, what would you have to say, Big? I would have to agree with Maria, uh, any, any of the sparkly vampire movies, any of the vampire shows that are out nowadays, any, but those specifically, blech. <laughs> Blech. I remember you made me watch the first movie, and I kept waiting for something to happen. When is something gonna happen? And then at the end, there was a little bit of action, but it just ended quickly, and we don't really. Well, that's because it was just setting up the, the storyline for second, third, and fourth books. Snar. <laughs> okay. My turn? Your turn. Okay. I have a list. Of movies that Kevin makes me sit through on sci-fi and watch Snakehead versus Giant Alligator Sharknado 1, 2, and now Sharknado 3 yeah. um, Crocodile versus Godzilla I don't know all of those Sharktopus Sharktopus all of those Stupid. Outrageously stupid, and I hate the word stupid, but I'm using it, movies that just are so I, I love those movies. out there. They're stupid. That's why I like them. You, don't have, I, I, you I really mean, don't have to think when you're watching them. I, I, I used to if you can sit get, through those movies with Kevin. If you can get Debbie Gibson and uh, what's her name to fight, cat fight, that's, that's a good movie. I used to sit through those movies with Kevin just so we could be together and watch something. Now, I'll either fall asleep or I'll go in the bedroom and watch something I want to watch. Some sort of vampire thing. Right now, I'm, I'm watching the True Bloods because everybody always said, Oh, True Blood was such a good series. I'm on season three, and I'm still kind of like, huh? Yeah, you're still watching it, huh? Yeah, I am. I am. I, I, you know, that's only because all of my other shows are on hold right now. So. All right. Anyway. Sharknado 3 is coming out. Oh, yes. Yes, I know. And everybody who did Sharknado, the original one, thought that their careers were over when they did that movie. Now their careers were over when they did that movie. And they thought <laughs> that was all it. Stars. That was it. They See? thought that was the, the end of it. And yeah, that's yeah. how it works. I, if they asked me to be in a Sharknado, I'd be there. I would have been in the first one. Jumping down shark's throat. Cutting my way out with the chains off. Poor okay. Keith. Okay, my question for tonight is, what are three must-have apps that you have on your iPhone, tablet, or iPad? Cool. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. And I'm not going to touch them. I knew she was Christopher Lee, Sir Christopher Lee. I did that whole thing uh, the other day with Christopher Lee, and I never mentioned his name once. <laughs> so I'm glad everybody figured that out. So um, the question was of his um, uh, career-defining movie, which was the horror of Dracula. Um, how much did he get paid for that movie? And he, uh, in 1958, he got 750 pounds. Turned out to be about eleven hundred dollars cash, give or take. But of course, in today's money, yeah, it's probably around five grand. So uh, it's still not the greatest, but. Eh. So now he was knighted for his acting before he died. It was he was he sing he sings heavy metal. 
watch uh, Charlemagne. It, uh, it's, it's very interesting. I got pieces of it. All right, and the people who got that one correct. Uh, Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, and Bam Yes! <laughs> and tonight's trivia question is about the movie Blade. Wesley Snipes, 1998. Uh, it's a very good movie. Based on a Marvel ca uh, comic character, which a lot of movies like this are. And now there's a vampire movie I've been playing. That's what, what a real vampire movie looks like. Um, what was his, his, they called him Blade, but what was his character's actual name? You can figure it out, but it's hard. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much, and we thank you all for all your support, and thumbs up. Check out all our other stuff that we have going on, and we will see you all tomorrow.